Let's see what happened today. I had a dream I was traveling the world, but there was a weird exception. I was traveling it with an elephant and I was riding the elephant around everywhere. And it was actually super cool. <laughs> I was trying to go around the world and I got to like Cali. I, I need to go to Hawaii. So how the hell do I get there with elephant, right? So I took a plane with my elephant friend and I have a little drawing to show you guys exactly how it was, it was done. I don't ask me the plane was carrying the elephant and i was on top of the elephant so me and my boy my elephant friend we were traveling the world it was pretty fucking cool <laughs> my name is Jules. i'm a radiant player if you enjoy this type of content be sure to like and subscribe considering 80 percent of you guys are still not subscribed i do these coaching sessions live so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions if you're interested in coaching yourself click the link in the description Click the book a lesson button and select your planning time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, you ready to you ready to pop off? Mmm, a little nervous. Nah, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You know, after the first couple rounds, you'll get out of your system. I promise. Okay. Ooh, been playing a lot of Neon, huh? Neon one trick? Yeah, pretty much. People insta lock Jewelist a lot, and then, you know, it's like Rainer and Jet all the time, so. No, I, yeah. I tend to fill where I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I guess when you're filling, you're playing Chamber, Omen, but so far, I mean, your, your Neon stats are good, right? 60% win rate uh, with 81 games played uh, and 158 ADR. So you're, you're doing really good, Honor. Yeah, it looks like when you're filling is when things get rough i would i would just insta lock neon whenever you can just just, just insta lock and uh hope for the best just because even if you guys run three duelists sometimes you can still win those games I, I win those games a ton i think it's a lot more harmful for you to be playing an agent that you're not comfortable with than it is to fill for your team because the more you're thinking about your own util and stuff the less you get to think about the enemy's util the econ what's going on what's ro like who's rotating reading the enemy team all of this goes out the window when you have to think about your own utility there's some games where I just feel like the team does not take space. I just don't know what to do in a situation because pushing in by myself it has like a low success rate. Yeah, I what I usually do, I start lurking. I, I know you're playing Neon in the Duelist, but if my team is not following me up consistently, I'm like, I need to win this game. How do I win this game? It's by lurking, right? Gotta go. Ooh. player standing Flawless. okay okay so what do you think what do you what do you think went wrong this round um i don't know yeah, if my pacing to was too slow to actually help the team there maybe i should have just come hour. with them in the first place okay so yeah you um, could you could follow with them uh and stay five but if you are gonna lurk and you're by yourself i would have just walked and i would have went really late and because i was concerned that team. they were getting they were getting cleared out already that's why i ended up taking that little step but you yeah. reckon just lurk the whole time yeah just lurk the whole time just the, whole, the entire time and then get that free kill because he's going to be holding for you if he hears one step one enemy remaining last player standing oh, i'll try so one thing, yeah, I'm noticing what you, like, exactly what you mentioned, right? When you're starting to go a little bit quickly into the site, that's when the crosshair placement gets a little bit shaky. It's like more like body level uh, a lot of the times. Okay, so this round, I would recommend staying with your team. Try and group up somewhere. When you guys have the gun advantage like this, they have mar or they have like marshals, specters. You don't want to give them any guns by like lurking. So honestly, five man rushing something is usually the play. Good peek, good jiggle. Enemy spotted A. Crosshair placement. Okay, this is the biggest thing. It is the crosshair placement. I'm out of here. I got spiked. More base. Be flank, yeah. Whole cap. Blinded. Yeah, your team. Your team is One enemy remaining. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so in this situation, all they have, all Jet has to do is play off of stage contact, and they win this round. They weren't really in a position to do that though. But yeah, that's how you should always enough. That's how you should always play like 2v1s, 3v1s, like play off of somebody's contact and then you just peek when someone shoots and that way like virtually unlosable, right? He would have to hit an insane flick, right? He has to be like 10 reincarnated or something. How much money did you have? Impressive. Wait, sell your stuff? Oh, buy a Phantom or Phantom Light Armor. Yeah, always. If you can buy Phantom Light Armor and your guys are buying, you do that 100% of the time. Down okay, it has to go for a little play, I think. It's a 3v4, you guys are down numbers. Um, 
on flank already. Yeah, crosshair placement. Last player standing. Smart move. Okay, nice try, nice try. Yeah, it is a bit of a, of a crosshair placement thing. I like the mm -hmm. the idea that you didn't want to commit to that to that first gunfight. You readjusted and then you you went for the burst. Whenever Remember, you're down numbers, it's, hurt. it's like a one v two, two v two v four, two v five. Gotta play aggressive. Yeah, you gotta go for the picks. Otherwise, that's what's gonna always happen against good players. You saw how they just kind of pinch you, and there's it's like unwinnable at that point. That's what'll usually happen. So yeah, always play a little bit more aggressive in that in that uh, scenario. But other than that, no, I, I think you're playing pretty pretty decent. I probably would have bought um, heavy shields though. If your team is buying up, I probably would have bought heavy shields that round. One thing that I'm noticing, you guys are playing very, very telegraphed. You guys are making noise one site, you're waiting a couple seconds, and then you're hitting that site, right? Uh, you can try to lurk a little bit, and these guys are rotating pretty quick, so just make some noise on the outside of the maps and stuff. Okay, go late. Go late here. Don't peek this. Don't peek this. Go super late. Now go. Now go. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Yeah. Now you have a timing. Just keep walking up. Last player standing. Yeah, they can hard grieve. Okay. With, with plays like these, one thing you'd have to do is communicate to your team. Guys, do not peek. Do not peek showers guy. Do not peek showers guy, right? That was on your team for actually trying to fight that guy when you guys had a free kill. Um, so it could, uh, it's definitely a calm thing, right? Like, uh, you had the timing 100%, right? Because we heard the jet wide swing showers, see nothing, and then immediately fall off and try to shoot the wall. And that's how I knew that the timing was there. Uh, when you're lurking like that, you never want to be the first point of contact. You want to let your team make the first the bunch of noise, and then you go in late, right? Get out of my way! Scout destroyed. Okay, crosshair placement is the biggest thing right now. Enemy spotted B. Enemy spotted B. Okay. Spike down B. Uh, so in a situation like that, should I just force the entry? If Nah, if, like, I, I, I would just rotate probably. Maybe you guys just all TP, like have the team come like back. The thing is like, when you guys are making a ton of noise like that and no one's really committing, you just got to look to, to, to the kind of fall off from there. Okay, tell your team to ru rush short and you're going to pop your ults and you're going to take U-Haul control quick, right? Let, let them know that. There we go! Shock it! Short gun! Good, let's go. Nice. Let's go. U-Haul control? Hello. Okay, that was that was good though. You guys created you created a lot of space there. I think it was a little bit too aggressive uh, afterwards, right? Like the peak yeah, towards after the we got yeah. After you guys have sight like that, after you guys have sight, the bomb is planted. One you want to remaining. not uh, peak if you don't have to. The goal is just like if bomb is down. Uh, play the bomb, right? Like, and you guys are not down numbers, play the bomb. Like, always, always, always. Unless you guys are down numbers specifically, then you have to kind of even it out a little bit, and then you can get a little bit, you know, cheeky with your peeps and, and plays. But for the most part, just play around the bomb. Okay, slide good. Crosser placement's better here. Last player standing. Wow. Oh, your team is getting, uh... We're getting teamed. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a team diff type of game. Okay, okay, tell your team to go towards B. You guys should go towards B. Oh, no, Lord, I okay. Oh, God, oh, God, don't worry about it. Yeah, they're gonna be all up here. Okay, so play safer now that we've got... Yeah, yep, yep. Watch the plank, yep. Down you go. Heard. Coming through! One enemy remaining. There. Nice job. Okay, that was perfect. That was perfect. You guys got into sight. He started planting. 
and sides. immediately you thought you know from the front i play bomb i start playing safer you watch flank right and the number one thing that a lot of people don't do is like when you have sight control and the bomb is being planted the next thing is somebody needs to pick up flank instantly instantly you never want to have like a little window where they can do that um yeah, and yeah. i really like the play where you started to to watch the flank instantly so that that was good the positioning was really good oh play with your teammate here go go in uh hookah go. always 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 on defense try and play with your teammates I wouldn't take that. B. All good, all good. Go, go, go. We got some info. Uh, okay, uh, that was tough. That's something that I would really recommend doing is like always playing with your teammate, right? Like if your brim is playing close hookah, you double up with him hookah, right? If he's going long, you're doubling up long with him. You always want to make sure that you're playing with your teammate, that you're there to kind of trade. You definitely force up this round. Enemy spotted B. Enemy down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holding that angle was very, it's like a Spike death trap. Down B. Yeah. You always want to avoid um, taking angles or holding angles that that are super common. Spike planted. One Red. enemy remaining. Nice Ooh. job. Okay. All right. There's some life. There's some life. Okay. It's the peaks. The peaks and the crosshair placement. These are the biggest things. Uh, we heard two TP, right? Uh, this third guy could be up close. Running low. Careful, they could be close. Last player mm. standing. <laughs> yeah. good, good. Be very careful with the rotation sometimes. Um, there's a good chance that, especially if you just heard two rotate or two TP, the third one you're like, I don't know where the third guy is. Yeah. He could yeah. already. I actually thought he would have been closer spawn, right? Um, with his timing. Go, go, go! Spike down B. The peaks, okay. Peaks, crosshair placement. These are the biggest fundamental issues right now. Okay, good trade, good trade, good stuff. Would it be better to buy and stick to my light armor or upgrade? Yeah, me? no, but drop them. Just to have more firepower on the team in general. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the whole goal. And this way, this guy can buy full armor and full all, all of his util. Full armor is good, but it's way better to have a gun in that guy's hands. So for short, one probably showers. I don't really like this angle all too much, but it can work. Okay, so a lot of it that I'm noticing is it's basically just the it's it's crosshair placement. It's mm -hmm. how how you're peeking corners and also the angles that you're choosing to hold right like i think those three are like the biggest biggest things uh over everything else the, the idea is like when you're holding an angle you never want to play an angle where the only place that they can look at is where you're at right by the time that you're in that corner she has cleared everything she's cleared triple she's cleared back sight she's cleared heaven and then she clears you you know what i mean like you never want to play in a spot where that's the case uh, because then she has the advantage peeker's advantage is a really big thing in this game Guys, my tweet yesterday about the Breeze map, I, I just did it for the impressions. I mean, I don't like Breeze, oh, I but... Pick with you too. Okay, so at least you're that, noticing it. Yeah, so with that one, I was thinking, because everyone was kind of pushing up, that I should just play with my teammates, right? Yeah, but your t it'd be better... Teams shouldn't be pushing. Yeah, they shouldn't be pushing. They have the numbers advantage. Uh, there's no reason to... to you want to play? Let's uh, play. Uh, so... A lot of it too is just calming, like being confident in what's right and what's wrong. Like if you guys are up numbers, I promise you, you're never wrong by saying, "Yo, we're up numbers. We don't have to peek." Right? You will, you will never be wrong with that statement. I mean, 99% of the time, you won't be wrong with that statement. Long looks like. Oh, Attackers win. Okay, you know how you were holding it from here. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, this is what I mean about holding an angle that is, like, common for people to look at, right? Uh, as they come around the corner, you gotta think, like, how would I clear this, right? This is how usually people clear corners, right? They clear like this, and then they clear like this, right? So, mm -hmm. they've already cleared everything up until this point, and now they're gonna be looking at you. And because this game is coded with Peeker's Advantage, and the way that Peeker's Advantage works is just, like, 
Basically, like, the person who's peeking is going to be able to see first uh, over this guy who's holding the angle. It's just programmed that way to deal with kind of ping issues. That's why it's like it's not really good to kind of hold angles at all. Uh, I would not recommend it, right? I would only mm -hmm. recommend holding angles. If you do hold an angle, it should be what's what's called as like an off angle. What makes something an off angle? There's really powerful angles, and I'll show you this one. This one I love doing, and I promise you, you will get kills doing this, right? This angle is so broken. It's super, super strong, okay? Why? Well, let me show you. Because when they come around showers, this is how they clear. They clear like this, they clear like this, this this and now they have to clear heaven nobody is gonna peek like this nobody i promise you no one is peeking like this unless this is smoked and they have like insider information right so how they clear it is like this and as they're clearing heaven now this is where your spot comes in handy right you want to find instances where they have to clear multiple spots at once okay what's another good one this is a good one if if i notice that they like lurking um, I like playing this spot right here, right? This is a good one, especially when I'm playing like Reyna or, or like if you're playing Jed, Chamber, whatever. This is a really good spot, okay? Um, the reason for this, if they're lurking, they're going slow, they're going to clear like this. They go like this, like this, and then they clear like this, right? And as they're clearing this, back sight, that's when, you know, you, you get that kill, dismiss out, TP out. Uh, I like this spot. I like this spot. If I have showers control, I like this spot right here because a lot of people don't... They, they, they clear like this, like this, and now they're already like moving here, right? Um, and mm -hmm. that's when you can get like, a, you know, cheeky quick little kill like this. The thing is too, is like, if you were playing for a control somewhere, like let's say you're like, I want to get shower control. I would recommend going with your teammate. You always want to go with your teammate when you're pushing something. Like just be like, hey, yo, peek with me, right? And then you swing wide and then, you know, you go for this fight, let's say you die, he comes around the corner and then he trades you. And now you're like, oh, okay, like, um, that's fine. At least he traded the kill, and I attempted to try and get the kill. The big thing that I'm noticing for you, it's your crosshair placement. That's like, mm -hmm. it's it's massive. Like it's 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 a big thing because a lot of time you're you're aiming like this. You're aiming like literally a uh, body level, right? This is this is body level. This would be like. Head that's level. always when I'm running around and shit. Yeah, exactly. Every time you're running around, it's always like this. Always like this. Usually, when you're going slow, yeah, you have good crosshair placement, and it's good. You're peaking good, right? This is how you should be peaking with your strafe keys. Um, avoid ever. There's a couple rounds where you did this, where you come around the corner like this, holding W and your strafe key. Um, and you have to understand, like, the distance that you travel from here to here, holding your strafe and W key, um, the same amount of time you can get from here to here. So the distance could be bigger if you just held, you know, your strafe key and it displaces your movement more. Um, on their screen, you know, like if you're close to this wall, you're exposed, right? If he's here, yeah. you're exposed. Your shoulder's out, half of your body's out right now. So they'll definitely kill you. Uh, or at least see you first and have a really good advantage over you. So always, you know, with the same amount of vision, all right, I have the same amount of vision for short, but now I'm not exposed. How do you fix the crosshair placement? This is like the big thing. I would recommend for you either going into a custom game running around the map and doing this and and imagine where their head is right like their head will be here 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 like i i don't have any sort of visual aid for it but it's because i've played this map so many times and i've gotten so many games where i know exactly where all head angles usually are this is something that you can you can get with like playing death matches if you play a lot of death matches a lot of this stuff will come in handy where you're going to be like oh because i see this guy running around the corner all the time have your crosshair at head level and then when you are going around corners and you see someone that that peeks you, ask yourself, is my crosshair on his head? If not, then you need to still work on it, right? Yeah. Don't worry about your shots or whatever. Do I get the kill? Don't worry about that. Literally, like, I don't care if you're 0 20 in your deathmatch, right? I lose DMs all the time. Winning deathmatches don't matter. Getting kills in deathmatches don't matter. It's just about practice. It's about warming up. Everything is, is going good. Your mouse movement is clean and, and all that stuff. So that's something that I would definitely recommend because your aim is good. I think you have really good aim. Uh, it's more just uh, a crosshair placement thing and uh, micro adjusting your crosshair after you're in a gunfight. That's something I noticed but uh yeah yeah so that's I think that's like everything I noticed